Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my Pan That palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. If you missed my intro or any of the updates before this one, I'll have the whole playlist up in the cards, and this, I'm super excited for this update because we finally have Pan. This is the first update where we have Pan, and we have multiple Pans. It's, it's very exciting. So before we go ahead and jump in, let's go ahead and run the slideshow of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. <laughs> How exciting. Can you see? So we actually have pan in this shade right here and in the gold shade right here in the middle. I think the next shade I'm going to hit pan in is going to be this shimmer shade right down here or the shimmer shade right here. Those two. So I was so happy and excited to finally hit pan in this palette. And I have to say it was not in the shades that I thought I was going to hit pan in. <laughs> I hit pan in these two shades in particular because I have been experimenting with different looks with this palette, specifically with trying the shimmers in my transition and in my crease. Uh, some of my favorite looks to be doing recently was using um, like these two shades right here to create like a deep kind of coppery look with one of these shades on the lid. And then I actually found a neutral look that I loved, which is, was this um, gold shade blended out up to like almost up to like my eyebrow and then deepening out the outer V with some of these shades and then using um, the very lightest shade all over my lid. So essentially by using these shades in my transition into my crease, I was able to use up enough of them to hit pan and they are both shimmer shades. I've noticed that despite the fact that I'm using these two shades in particular, these matte shades a lot, they're really dense and there's a lot of product in there. So I don't know when I'm actually going to like hit pan there, which is surprising to me because I thought I would have an easier time with these neutral matte shades and a harder time with the shimmers. I'm finding it to be like just the opposite now, which is fascinating to me. I am also now a strong proponent of doing my eye makeup before my the rest of my face makeup because these have so much fallout, especially the shimmer shades. When I'm using them in my crease and in my transition, they're, it just, it's fallout city. There's so much fallout. So I definitely have to do that um, my eye makeup before even trying to do my face makeup because there have been so many times where I've done my face makeup first and then I go in and do a look with this palette and then the fallout comes out and the fallout can stain so I end up having to like go in and touch up with like some concealer and then powder over it again which is just a pain in the butt so I've definitely just been doing a lot more just with my eye makeup first and then going in and doing my face makeup. I didn't include any uh actual looks in this video because I do have a collab coming up which is going to be a couple of looks with this palette. It'll be sometime in either late March, early April, not 100% sure yet. Um, and then I think after that I'll start including looks in my updates probably starting in like the summer so like May, June um, as I start actually using up shades because part of the reason why I like including like looks in these updates is to um specifically like capture and document looks with shades that like I'm about to run out of. Um, that's what I did for my subculture palette. That's what I did for the blood sugar palette. And I want to continue doing that here. So I don't think I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to be like running out of shades until at least the summer at, at the earliest. <laughs> Overall, um, I think I'm doing an awesome job. I'm having a lot of fun. Like I think I've really, really focused on this palette in the last month. And that's why I was able to hit the pan. That's why I was able to innovate and try different looks, try different um, combinations. My favorite, what I'm wearing on my eyes right now, is actually this trio right here. I love how pretty those shades look together and how I can get a really, really pretty dimensional, gorgeous look uh, really quickly. So those three have been my favorite. This is my transition. I use this to deepen up the outer V out here. And then this goes all over the lid. There's a little bit of a uh, glitter glue. And I use that with my finger. I do not like applying glitter glue with these shades with brushes. It just does not work well. It does not last long. Gotta go with the finger. I don't really want to, once again, set a goal. I think I do a lot better with these, at least at the, at the beginning of my pan that palette journey. At the beginning few months, I think I do better without setting solid goals so that I don't discourage myself a little too early on in the process. Um, but that being said, I think it 
probably isn't too hard to say. I think I'm gonna hit pan in this shade next just because it, there's a really big dip in here. And I have been using it a lot, again, in the outer V when I do this look, which is like one of my favorite looks um, ever with this palette. So I think I'll just keep an eye on that. But again, I just wanna feel free to experiment, try new things. I've been trying so many new things and new looks and it's been fun and it's been really, really, what's it, interesting? I'm trying to say enriching. Like I, I'm falling in love with makeup over again. Not that I fell out of love, but you know, it's whenever you find something new that you like really get into, like you kind of hyper fixate on it. That's kind of how I feel now. And make sure if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram. I've been posting daily, almost daily looks into my Instagram stories and I've been updating with pictures and just kind of more updates about the palette. Like when I first hit pan in these shades, I posted it to my Instagram first. So make sure you follow me there if you want to see updates in actual like real time. All right. And I think that's going to be it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you're panning a palette in 2021, what palette it is, how you're doing, or if you also own the Lila palette, if I'm inspiring you to actually pick it up and use it. Because I feel like I don't really see this palette being used across YouTube, at least currently, as much anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.